Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, and it's time to revisit one of my favorite strategy management business games that is available on Steam. Uh, it is probably... Yeah, it's, it's up there. It's definitely one of my favorites, and um, especially after a game like Game Dev Tycoon, which kind of was like felt empty to me. This was exactly the game that I needed back then. And I did a few series of that on YouTube, but I've never played it here on Facebook, and I would love you guys to uh, follow me along, and we're gonna start a gaming company. And, and you know what, let's call it the, the, the company, it's very uncreatively the Weasel Zone. How, how about that? There's also Wheatley's walking on my microphone. It's, that's, I cannot see, he's covering up, he's covering up the screen. How about you step up here on my finger and don't do this. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right, company logo. Obviously, we're gonna have to go with oh, choices are hard. The the uh, oh, uh, what is that? Is that a hippo? I I don't know. Yeah, let's go with the U.S. because that's you know where I'm located right now. Then again, you get a sales bonus for uh, strategy games in Germany. So let's let's do that. Mail and. There are some game settings that you can do, like you can start with a small office building and whatnot, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to play the standard mode that is. All right, you get to select your own character or, you know, like select what features he's especially good at, which is interesting because you can start in like the late 80s and know about holo room support. It's, that's your, I think that's the thing that then you're good at. Uh, since I'm a big fan of 16-bit color, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, special genre. I'm gonna go with economic simulations because that's my jam. Let's bring let's bring that game design up. Let's just bring that up. Screw the rest. Nobody needs the rest. That sounds about right. And we're gonna go with the standard game speed, and we're gonna start early in the 1980s and just on the regular normal difficulty. No reason to go hard or legendary or any of that. We're just here to have fun. Welcome to Mad Games Tycoon. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. They will unlock. Ah, the memories. The memories. All right, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little office. This is actually a pretty big garage. I wish I had a garage that big, or even that big. I don't have a garage, man. All right, time for a uh, office. Yeah, I think a. Uh, let's do a five by four. That's fairly big. That should house enough room for. Well, all the things. All right, we're gonna need a desk to sit at, and I'm obviously not gonna. You know what? I'm gonna invest something in a good desk, like like a nice desk plus free time makes it a little bit faster. Uh, oh man, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand is a lot of money. I don't have that money. I'm gonna do a smart choice. I'm not. I'm not gonna waste all that money. It's it's tempting. It it, it is indeed tempting. Uh, let's rotate it around. Uh, we want to look towards the door. I don't want to look away from the door. But yeah, we could definitely squeeze another desk in here or over there on the other side like that. And uh, a second worker could be in here. But for now, it's just going to be us. It's, that's all we're going to do. There's also a head office, but we can't unlock that yet. Uh, we're going to have to develop things on our own. All right, so here we are. Um, let's go ahead and develop a game. That's straight up what we're going to do. We could also start with some uh, contract work to make some money. Uh, like, you know, regular, plain old drawing backgrounds. Um, here's the workload that it requires to be done. I... D Jesus, what fell down? I don't even want to know. I'm gonna fell off my desk. You probably heard it. Uh, but yeah, we're not, we're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna do our own... Oh, no, not a contract. We're gonna do our own game. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. It's a retail title. It's gonna be small because we can't do anything bigger. And we're gonna target... Adults. Oh, yeah. Topic. This is all we have. Bricks, cars, and the mafia. How about the mafia? For It's for adults. And cars. Subtopic. Uh, I, hmm. Car smuggler tycoon. That sounds like awful title, but I will. Oh, it's arcade and puzzles. Oof. Uh, I guess arcade sounds good. And let's call it car smuggler. You know, you you are the car smuggler and you have to drive and escape the police, that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, we're going to do it without an engine because <laughs> we don't have an engine yet. All right. Uh, we're going to release it for the personal computer because that's the only thing we can do as well. And there we go. All right. Uh, we don't have any concepts, so we're just going to have to hope that this works out. Let's move it towards a little bit of gameplay. I mean, it's an arcade game. 
um, game length, functions, uh, beginner friendly, and let's keep that in the middle. I'm just guessing here. Priority, we're going to leave that in the middle as well. And we're going to do it in German and in English. Why, why, why German? Why is that selected? Interesting. I guess it's for free. I, I guess it's for free. English and German. So let's do both languages. That's fancy. That's how I would make my games. Uh, oh, ASCII tech support and PCP speaker sound. Sounds like an exciting game. You're driving around some ASCII symbols. That's going to be exciting. All right. So now we're working on our title over here. It's snowing right now and we're slowly putting points. And as you can see, there is the points for the different things like gameplay, graphics, sound, functionality and how many bugs are in the game uh, and how far along it is. So for now, there isn't much to do other than to look at the numbers ticking down. We don't pay ourselves a salary, so our uh, money should stay pretty steady. There's nothing to worry about. And all we can do is hope that this goes well. Right now, up here, we see what is popular, and it's horror basketball, or at least, you know, basketball, the genre, or at least the theme, and horror. So you could make a game about a really scary basketball something. Uh, the work on this game has been completed. You can release it now. Uh, I haven't seen any bugs, so yeah, let's do that. Oh shit, there's four bugs. That's okay. Let's find a publisher because we cannot self-produce. We have to find someone who sells that thing for us. And it's an arcade game, so we should go through Semco, which has the arcade fan base. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Your first game was completed. You can now build the research area. There you can research new features, genre, and themes. Oh boy, this could have gone way worse. I mean, look at that gameplay. Jeez, this is the worst gameplay ever. The graphics look real good. There isn't much to complain about, except the gameplay. The sound is not very good, so there's that to complain about, and a lot of effort should have been put into this, and the controls are lousy, but there isn't much to complain about. There's a lot to complain about. They really should have improved this. A really bad game. Avoid at all costs. 29%. Welp. We're still gonna make some sales from it. Some people are gonna buy it because like, oh man, I always wanted to play a game where I can smuggle cars. That's my dream or something. As you can see, we're not we're not making a lot of sales. That's okay. We got better at making games though. So we're gonna make another game. You gotta try. Um, we haven't unlocked research yet, so that's gonna happen one of these days. Maybe this time, maybe we should do something with bricks. You know, an arcade, you know, like, like, like a skill-based game with bricks and um, like, 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 um, Mectris, Gactris, Lectris. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't feel, it doesn't, doesn't feel right. Bricktris. That sounds about right. Uh, no engine, target audience. Let's just go with the teenagers. Yeah, teenagers love love games like that. And we're gonna put it on the computer, you know, nothing fancy. Definitely all the way towards the gameplay because, geez, that was awful the last time. Put the thing in the middle, 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 sounds good, but definitely that gameplay, very important. And uh, keep it like that. I don't know what else I could do differently here. But yeah, that's that's a game you wanna play. Break Triss with ASCII. I mean, it would work, wouldn't it? I'm sure this will do fine. Uh, eventually, we're going to be able to unlock uh, good old uh, research, allowing us to... Oh, actually, we can already do that. That is absolutely magnificent. So that's what I'm going to do. Bam! Research. I mean, why I can't do research in my own room, I don't understand. But we have a research room now, so we could go ahead and research topics or game sizes, which we cannot afford. We are basically broke. We have like $8,000. It's like nothing. It's, that's really nothing. We're ruined. Everything's ruined. There's no way Car Smuggler is going to do well. We're going to be happy if we at least sell a thousand copies, effectively netting us like, what, $4,000? It's 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 sad. It's sad. But once we have that breakthrough title, everything is going to change. Everything's going to be good. Uh, here, this is basically our head office is where the garage is. Uh, here you can do things like buy engines if you had the money. You can also develop engines eventually and sell them 
for percentages, which is really nice. Um, no, don't do that right now. I would like you to um, fix the bugs. At least I, I'd hope that would happen. Bugs. Could, could we could we fix those bugs, please? Like I'd I'd like to. Do... There's still two bugs. Why can't we not? You know what? Let's... Can I? I don't know how to release things other than press the release button. I guess we're not removing those bugs. That's just that's just what stays with us. Find the publisher. Uh, skill based. Koei. They give us six dollars per sale. So maybe. Uh, that will do. You release your second game, you can now buy dev kits to develop on other platforms, if you can afford that. And we release our second game, you should develop games from multiple platforms. Two platforms is available now. Let's have a look. Um, definitely higher percentage points than last time, since we put some effort into gameplay. That's good. Graphic and a genre is a trend. Yeah, people like skill-based games, you know, like every game. Car Smuggler. Oh boy, we didn't even sell a thousand units. No profit was made. It is a sad, sad excuse. Uh, I think it's time for some contract work. Maybe some game dev contract work. Here, 21. Oh, actually, that means we have to make a game. Uh, let's do some contract work. Something with low workload because I'm a little bit worried. Here, gameplay test. $5,000. Let's just do that and see how it goes. In the meantime, we're watching Brictress burn. Yeah, it's not... Not going well. Some fans, Brictress was developed too much for core gamers. Who are you calling the core gamer? Well, looks like we're going to have to uh, consolidate a little bit of money first. We're going to have to make some. More contract work. So I guess that worked out. We can do bigger ones like here. Improving concept. Sure. $16,000. That should hold me over for the next project. Maybe we could even buy a dev kit. Buy dev kits. Here, there's the Qatari, 20%, cost $32,000 though, so I'm not, not, not too happy. But that's the thing you want to go for, the Qatari. And then you can develop it for a second platform. Oh, look at that, Bricktrisk looks like it might hit the thousand sales. That's something. That's a good start. You, you gotta, you gotta take what you can get. You gotta, you gotta take what you, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, we're work. Oh god, I don't know if we can pull this one off. Delivering two weeks, and we're only. Oh, we're not gonna be able to make that contract. Ooh, this is bad. Oh, they're not gonna be happy. Are we gonna pay a fine because of that? Oh, please don't tell me we're gonna pay a fine. That would be a bummer. I worked so hard, but it's not worth it. I wasn't able to pull it off. By the way, that's Wheatley. A lot of you haven't even met Wheatley yet. Uh, break dress uh, did a little bit better, but they took it off and we had to pay a penalty of 1,000 It's oh, the worst <sighs> I guess that was too many points here. Let's do some character design Just a little bit of work. We can pull that off in 12 weeks No problem. Maybe maybe I clicked the wrong one. It's entirely possible uh, I'm just going to develop another game in the hope that this does the trick we should have enough soon, once we have that contract done. Sit down, keep working. Excellent, 25,000. That should be enough. Develop a new, actually update a language packs. You can keep the life of a game. Uh, you can increase it. Um, children, hmm, breaks, hmm. Uh, you can increase the life cycle of a game by uh, adding patches. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should make a racing game. Cars. For children. And I'm gonna call it... Uh, not... Vehicles. Vehicles. And we're gonna give the cars big blobby eyes and it's gonna be an arcade game. Uh, which is currently not hot, but whatever. Uh, without an engine, without a license, and... Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> 23,000. We can barely afford it, but that's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, let's put that in the middle. We know game length and graphic are important with this. This is this is the direction that it uh, recommends taking. So uh, that's what I'll do. The more you develop a game, the better of an understanding you get for it, and it kind of tells you what is a good thing. Uh, let's keep that in the middle and hope for the best. Now I don't have enough money. I guess I'm gonna borrow money. I can't see that going wrong at all. Uh, we're so screwed, aren't we? The only thing I need is just 
It's just that one breakout title that allows me to get out of this place. <sighs> no, I do not, do not want to participate in this convention this year. I think, I don't think we're, we're convention ready just yet. I mean, man, we had two financial failures. That's not the time you want to want to brag at a convention about it. He, yeah, I uh, I sold not even a thousand copies of a game that I worked a year on. It's kind of a bummer. Vehicles, yes, I want to publish this now. Sure, I find a publisher, and it's an arcade title. Seven dollars by Blue Ocean. F yeah. Look at those percentage points. Ooh, we're like hitting fifty. Are we getting <gasps> fifty? Genre fans can buy it safely. That ain't too bad. Look at that. Even like nearly sold a thousand. Uh, best we can do is an update, a game update for vehicles, uh, bug fixes, new game. Yeah, you know what? Let's throw all of the stuff on there. All of the stuff we're throwing on there. Enable all. Cost us 2,600. I'm willing to put that in just to make this a more solid title. And look at that. Well, this, is, this is great. I mean, we <laughs> we're not making our money back. That's that's certain. But we're getting there. Look, at we even sold more in the second week than the first one. That makes me very happy. Once this patch ha hits the floor, we're, we're going to be rolling in it, hopefully. And they even started a marketing campaign. We might even make a profit with this, guys. Believe it or not. We're actually, we actually broke even. Ha ha! You know what? I might be able to actually buy a dev kit. The Qatari, 20% market share. F yeah. Let's do that. I like that what I'm gonna bet on we even made some money I can't believe it I can't believe it's not butter so the best thing we could do in this case is research maybe another genre um, or a theme that's currently hot basketball and horror is gonna be is still still the hot thing so maybe we should research basketball 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 there it is 10,000 we will do that after this has been uh, finished, or update has been finished, which should boost the sale numbers a little bit further. Uh, should, you know, give some extra life. Oh, this is crashing. Come on, finish it up before they take it off the market. Please? Uh, okay, they haven't taken it off the market, and the game's out. Now, we should see a little bit of a boost, and I'm going over an error. <clears throat> Good old Weasel goes there and is researching basketball as a genre topic now. Okay. Yep, that definitely, that definitely helped. Look at that, as nearly as many sales as on the highest uh, date. And we have $44,000. That should allow us to develop something. Horror, as you can see, we can't. Your games are selling well. To further increase sales, you might want to implement copy protection. That is an interesting concept that I will certainly think about. Certainly, eventually. We're gonna make a basketball game. I don't think we can do horror. I don't know why we can't research that, but currently, uh, trend skill basketball. So let's let's develop that. Um, how about sports ball? Uh, what what year is it? It's I I, I guess two K eighty doesn't work in nineteen eighty. It is the nineteen eighty sports ball eighty. Let's just well, we're we're gonna go with the the last year name. And uh, target audience, let's go with those those teenagers. Basketball's hip with them, right? It's, I, I heard. Main genre is um, skill. Yep, it's a skill game without an engine. It's totally fine. We could buy one, but I don't really... There's the free scape. 20% profit sharing and cost 10. It's not, not really good, though. It has free features, which is more than we have, but I'm going to... And I'm gonna have to go without the engine. I'm gonna have to go without the engine. No subgenre, no subtopic. And Sports Ball 80 can be developed for the PC. And then, as you can see, it costs us another 20,000 just to throw it on another platform, which is crazy. I'm gonna throw this more towards gameplay. Game length, that sounds about right. Uh, functions? I don't know, like basketball, like a sports game. Maybe you wanna put that more towards atmosphere? Nah, I'll leave it in the middle until I know what I'm doing. And copy protection, we can buy one. Cost ten thousand. Salesforce, Safe Force. I will. Why not? Let's let's throw it on. Not a bad idea. And it's forty-eight thousand. Holy moly! We're a thousand dollars. We have a thousand dollars extra to spend. That's 
close. I'm very happy that that works. Wonderful. All right, as we're going to, ooh, banking crisis, 200 plus cent interest. Hey, come on. Oh, that's not fair. Uh, you can't, you can't change my interest like that up. Once you, once you, once you lock an interest with a bank, that's how it goes. Or is it all of a sudden? Is it for my existing one? Because that would be mean. That would be very, very mean. Can I, can I see that somewhere? Charts. Mm, no, 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 that's, that's all good. Anyways, we're developing Sports Ball 80, and we're going to see in the next episode how it's going to do. I'm, I'm glad to see that Vehicles does well. Let's hope that Sports Ball, mm, that basketball game with ASCII text support, I'm sure it will do well. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bow, 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 bow,